Good day, Emerging Mothers. I hope you all are well. Listen, I just happened to stop by my church to drop off my daughter so that she can participate in our up our Upward Basketball, which is a league that we have here at the church to help draw kids from the community on in. So I wanted to talk with you all for just a little bit because I had a conversation with an amazing mother at my youngest daughter's basketball game just yesterday. Such a beautiful spirited mother. And you know what? She was mentioning to me that she was uncertain and she just graduated with an advanced degree and she was uncertain as to what she's going to do next. I know she wants to operate within her passion. Of course, she's established in her profession, but I know she wants to operate within her passion. And so she was just, thinking and talking with me and it just, you know, just considering some options, etc. And so I began to think, hmm, I wonder if the emerging mothers have thought about, you know, what it would take or what they need to do to make sure that they're operating within their passion. So listen, so I just went upstairs of my in, in my church, as you all can see, and you are so loved. One of my very, very good friends, she teaches. Of course, I teach in uh, some young adults. My husband and I, we facilitate uh, some young adults across the hall and down the walkway. But she, of course, she, a good friend of mine here at the church, she facilitates here in the kids' room. And so I just came on into her room and and uh, of course I, I, I wanted to chat with you all just a little bit while I'm in here before I leave and go home and continue with the rest of my evening. But but I was asking um, this question that she was exploring that I want to ask of you. So are you confident that you are operating within your passion? We you know you have your profession established, but are you operating within your passion? And and her daughter, this mother, have yet to even go off to the college campus. She's a junior in high school. And so I wanna make sure that I'm helping you all with this. Um, many of you all know that my company, Lloyd Learning Labs, this company was established um, before I even uh, thought that there was there were even other mothers concerned with what I struggled with. Um, I struggled when my oldest daughter transitioned out of the home, uh, heading to the college campus, um, all the way on the East Coast. I'm in Texas, she was on the East Coast in Blacksburg, Virginia, at Virginia Tech at the time uh, in 2016. And uh, I struggled with her being gone, thinking, oh my goodness, you know, we." <laughs> Who's over on the East Coast to put a second set of eyes on my daughter? You know, I had, you know, a sorority sister and, you know, she had family there. And so, uh, but still it's different when they're out of the home. So that's what I found that I did. I had to put strategy around my struggle. So now what do I do? Uh, I support mothers with anxiety as it relates to teens transitioning out of the home after high school. Uh, whether they're heading off to the college campus, the military base, or simply a residential independence. And so that's what I do. I found value in that. I had to begin identifying how do I, how can I operate within my profession? So first and foremost, I um, focused on and reflected on what is it that, you know, um, that has been bitter in my life and what has been sweet? I focused on the bitter and the sweet. And so a bitter part of my life was that struggle that I experienced with my daughter and how that affected me and then identifying, is that affecting other mothers? Hence the creation of Lloyd Learning Labs again. So that could be something that you can uh, ponder. What are some bitter moments in your life? Um, and then what are some sweet moments in your life? That could help you to establish, of course, uh, your value and what it is that you need to move forward correcting or solving. What problem is there that lies before you? that causes you to feel a certain kind of way. That's one way you can find your value and to make sure you're operating within your passion. 
Another way is to um, think about and identify about three to five people whom you admire. Um, when we think about those people whom we admire, uh, then those are the people who almost help to establish our value. And we know that our value is just simply those principles that give our life meaning. And so when I think about those people who I admire, I think about my mother. Uh, my mother, uh, she's quiet spoken and by golly, she is resilient. She has overcome many things in life. She's overcome um, uh, a life whereas um, she was treated unfairly, but she overcame that. Uh, she was involved in situations 